In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to write first Playwright automation test. And also we are going to see Pick Locator in Playwright. So why we are using Pick Locator is to identify the web page element locator value. So by using that, we can write the Playwright automation test. So let's look at the manual scenario first and then we will automate the manual scenario by using the Playwright automation testing tool. So here I will navigate to the first youtube.com and then in the search text box, I will enter the Cypress by testers talk. Then I will click on, click on the search icon. And then here we are going to click on the Cypress by tester stock playlist. So here we are going to validate the this web page tab title. So if you see the tab title, so it is a video description followed by the hyphen and YouTube. So we will validate the title of this web page. Now let's navigate to the VS code. So here let's create the quickly one JS file. So under the tests folder, I'm adding the one spec file first test dot spec dot JS. That's it guys. So here let's list down all the steps what we are going to do it. The very first step is we need to include playwright module and then second step is we need to write a test then inside the test so we are going to firstly navigate to the url so that's the reason here i'll write go to url and followed by that so we need to search with keywords so firstly we are navigating to the youtube.com then we will search with the keywords and after that we are going to click on the playlist click on playlist and finally we are validating the title that's it guys so these are the steps what we are going to implement automation code by using the playwright automation tool so let's include the playwright model first so here we have to write the required keyword and inside this we need to pass the at the rate slash test so that's it so we have to ascend back to the constant variable so that's the reason here i'm writing constant and here we have to assign back to the object and the very first variable name i'm giving is test and followed by the expect so we are using a test to create the test cases and expect we are using to validate or to assert the web element or any text so that's it guys so this is how you can include the playwright model and then so let's start implementing the test as well. So we have to use this particular test object. So here I'm using test. Followed by that, we have to add the test name. So here I'm adding the test name as validate YouTube title. That's it. And then here we have to use the another function called a sync and here I will add the arrow function and followed by this I will open and close the curly braces so firstly I need to navigate to this particular URL right so simply I will put inside this test now so firstly we need to navigate to the URL so if I need to navigate to the URL we have to use the page object so that page object can be we can get it from the async method. So here we need to add the page. So by using this page object, we can interact with the browser. So let's use the page. And firstly, you need to use the keyword called await and followed by the page dot 
to go to the url simply you need to say go to method and inside this we can add the url so here we have to provide the url now so i will go to the browser and i will copy the this particular url and i will add it inside the go to function that's it guys now we need to identify the this particular search text box by using the pick locator right now what i will do is i will go to the testing here and here if you see the one option called pick locator click on pick locator and here let's add the url first so it has opened a browser where you can navigate in the web page so firstly we have to navigate we have to find the search text box so simply you need to click on the search text box and you need to come back to the vs code if you see here to accept this particular locator simply you need to if you want to copy this particular locator you need to press the enter to cancel you need to press the escape so i am pressing the enter so we have copied the locator now so here i am using the await keyword so if you do not have any idea about the require async await and expect so if you do not know about these keywords you can refer the previous tutorial of this playwright full course so here i'm using the playwright uh, sorry page followed by dot and simply i'll paste the locator value and then so firstly i will click on the search text box and followed by that once i clicked on the search text box then i will enter the search keyword so here i will call to the one method called fill so this will enters the data in the search text box so here i'm writing cypress by testers talk that's it so we are done with performing actions on the search text box now we have to click on the this particular search icon as well right so here i will go to the vs code again and i will click on pick locator then i will go back to the browser and simply i will select the web element and i will come back to the vs code and if you see here so we got the element simply press the enter we have copied the locator now so firstly i will check whether that particular search icon is displayed or not so that's the reason i'm using the one keyword called expect by using this we can validate whether element is displayed or not or whether element is enabled or not so that's the reason here i'm adding the locator so inside the expect simply we are adding the locator here and followed by that we can call to the one function called to be enabled that's it so if element is enabled then click on that particular search icon so simply i'll copy this whole line and then i will remove the expect so expect keyword is used to to assert the element or text from the web page so here i'm simply calling the click method so we are going to click on the search icon that's it guys now we need to click on the once we click on the search icon so we will get the search results and once we got the search result here so let's add the cypress by tester stock and once we click on the search icon we will get the search results and here we have to click on this particular particular playlist right so let's identify this playlist so i will go to the vs code and i will click on pick locator so let's identify the playlist and here i will copy the locator and then i will use the await followed by page object dot so here i will pass the locator then we have to perform the click operation that's it so we are clicking on the playlist once we click on the playlist 
so before we click on the playlist so let's wait for some time so this wait is not required guys so simply for demo purpose i'm writing it page dot so wait for timeout so here i'm putting an explicit wait as 5000 milliseconds that means 5 seconds then once we click on the playlist we have to validate the title to validate the title so we have to use the await keyword and followed by that we can use the page sorry so we can use the expect keyword because here we are validating the something from the web page so that's the reason we have to use the expect keyword and inside this we have to pass the page object and if i call here one method called to have title so here i'm calling one method called to have title so this will gets the title from the web page so here we have to add the expected title right so as i said so this particular web page title is combination of video description and followed by hyphen and youtube so simply i will copy this text so right now we are adding the expected test text in the automation test and followed by this we have the hyphen and then followed by that we have the youtube that's it guys so we are done with creating the end-to-end -end test so let me summarize once again what we have done firstly we have included playwright module and we started writing the test and followed by that firstly we are going to the url and we are searching with the keywords then we are clicking on the playlist and finally we are validating the title of the web page so le now let's run the test so here i'll click on run test so it has opened browser then it is entering the url so it will perform the actions very quickly and it is searching with the keywords and it is going to click on the playlist as well and also it is validated the title of the web page and also here you can see the check mark and our test is getting passed right so in the line number 22 let's say for example if i edit something or if i delete something over here so now this time what happens actual value from the web page and the expected value so these two values will be not matching and our test will get filled and also we will check the report so i will run the test once again And if you look at here so our test is getting failed in the line number 22 so this is the expected failure right now let's go to the reports and in the reports also we should be able to see that this particular test results and the status of this test should be failed with the comparing the both the values and if you see here so this is the expected string and this is the received string from the web page right so this is the expected output so if i just modify the expected value over here and if i run the test and this time our test will work fine and also we can see the output in the playwright test report so if you see here so our test is getting passed right so same should be reflected in the our test report as well so if you see here so our test is getting passed there are zero failures right and you can see the all the steps also so everything is getting passed so this is how you can create the very first playwright automation test by using the quick locator 